Hello, and welcome to this week's Let's Talk Machines Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we're highlighting how to use the Fit, Spline, and Smooth commands located within Pointwise's Edit menu. First, let me begin with the Spline command. This command fits a cubic spline through the control points of a database polyline or fits a bicubic spline surface through the control points of a bilinear database surface. To demonstrate this, let me first select my surface and from the Edit menu, select Spline. The bilinear database surface is replaced by a bicubic surface. The Fit command is selection sensitive and requires that either a dimension connector or database curve first be selected prior to the command becoming active in the Edit menu. Fit performs a least squares fit of grid points or control points on dimension connectors and database curves respectively. It's often useful for removing unwanted control points from connectors that have been added when a connector is projected onto a database surface. To demonstrate using the Fit command, I'll first select a dimension connector and from the Edit menu I'll select Curve to show that the original connector's definition consists of only two control points on either end. Once I project this connector to the database surface, you can see that the connector's grid points have been added as control points to define a connector's shape. If I ever need to edit the shape of this curve, then those additional control points may make editing the shape somewhat tedious. Selecting Fit from the Edit menu opens the Fit panel, which consists of a single entry field where users can specify a fit tolerance or immediately fit the grid points to the curved shape by clicking OK to use the default value. Using a fit tolerance of 0.1 allows me to reduce the number of control points used to define the connector's shape to only two, which may be helpful if I need to edit the connector's shape later on. The smooth command works similarly. The smooth command is useful in situations where you need to smooth out discontinuities and curves. Smooth is also selection sensitive and requires either connectors or database curves be selected prior to becoming active within the edit menu. Here I have a curve in the shape of an airfoil with a discontinuity on the suction side. By selecting the curve and choosing Smooth from the Edit menu, the Smooth panel opens, which, like the Fit panel, also consists of a single entry field where users can specify a fit tolerance. By changing the fit tolerance used, the discontinuity in the curve can be smoothed out and the airfoil shape can be more readily edited to help make a more suitable shape. If you like this video, then be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, then drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter using the link in this video's description. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.